60 days later, while the fava beans are still producing nitrogen, because they're nitrogen fixing in their roots, I went around and I pruned them all out. They left their roots in the ground. If you look closely, you can see stumps of the fava still there. And I chopped up their, their bodies into uh, six inch pieces here in this pile. So I mulched them into small pieces. Then what I've done is I'm digging over here a foot deep trench in the area that we're in a couple moments going to plant summer beans. So I'm digging out a trench out a foot deep. Okay. And I'm moving the soil to both sides. And I'm going to put all these cut up fava carcasses into the trench. Then what we're going to do, because these break up quickly, we make a quick green mulch. And so I'm going to line the trench with these. And then I'm going to step on them a little bit to press it down. Then I'm going to cover it with the soil. Two weeks later when the beans start growing, by the time they penetrate their roots down into this pit of fava carcasses, the fava will be more broken down and then they'll have that as a food source. Okay, now we're a month later at this patch where we had buried the fava carcasses. A month later you can see that the uh, summer bush beans are huge, particularly in this area where we buried fava carcasses a month ago. Not only that, but over here you can see where we clipped the favas short again, they've regrown back up. So they've been able to regenerate off of their roots because we prune them down from the winter. But basically here you can see the bulge of where the favas were buried. The beans are huge and it's very full growth a month later.